Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing up the Madden cheese as always. Got some more defensive plays for you today. I'm going to be going over a scheme from my nickel 335 wide. If you guys don't know, uh, the Mike Blitz Zero is probably my most used defensive play this year. If you watch any of my gameplays, you've probably seen me run this play a thousand times uh, because to me, it's one of the best base defenses, one of the best run defenses, and one of the best bat pass defenses. But I have a couple of other plays uh, that I use from time to time out of this formation to kind of complete an entire scheme, and I'm going to go over that in today's video. I also want to ask you guys a question. I want to put out a full, on Saturday, I want to put down a put out a full breakdown uh, video like I do a full you know I call them free ebooks even though they're not actually books they're just lengthy videos but if you want to see your favorite team's playbook um, you know let me know in the comment section hit the hit the like button let me know in the comment section of what type of video you want me to put out I'll put out offense defense I was thinking about putting out the full Patriots defense uh, which is what I'm in today but if you want to see your favorite offensive playbook, uh, you know, let me know in the comment section, and I'll do that on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start off. I'll set my audibles. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start off. Like I said, I'll show the Mike Blitz Zero, which is already in there, um, and then I'll also show the, the Cover One Contain is a pretty good defense. So we'll go ahead and we'll add that. And then the last one's really only three plays. And the last one is going to be the uh, the Sam or the three Sam Will Blitz. So we're going to add all those. Now, before I get into the video, the only uh, adjustment that I might make is personnel. You can put a safety at the linebacker spot. If you're using this as a pass defense, that's probably the best thing to do. And then I also want to make sure I have speed and good coverage to the outside. So I opened up my middle linebacker. I'll put him on the outside. And uh, I'm pretty happy with what I have here. I also want to make sure I, mean, I, want, I, I want more speed at these edge positions, at these uh, defensive end spots. So a guy like Lawrence Guy is not really going to work out. So I add a little bit of speed, and uh, that's pretty much the look. So starting off, like I said, I just want to show the Mike Blitz Zero. I wasn't expecting an a, uh, empty backfield look, um, but uh, all I'm ever, ever really going to do when it comes to this play is spread everybody. Spread the defensive line, spread the linebackers. It takes about two seconds. It's D-pad left and up, D-pad right and up. And then uh, this guy here, I typically, I mean, I typically have a safety, you know, back here. Because of the spread formation, he's not doing that. So hopefully the next play I'll get a better look. But this does give me a good opportunity to show how this blitz works against uh, empty backfield looks. And all I'm really going to do is just take this user here, bring him down into the box, and wait for the QB to snap it. And this is pretty much going to get the edge defender off the, off the hook right real quick, as you can see. Um, he comes in free off the edge, forces a quick throw. I get a ton of picks ton of pick sixes doing that exact same look uh, but like I said the setup is all that's really important now here's a little bit more of a traditional look this here like I said spread everybody QB contain which is LB RB uh, left bumper right bumper or L1 R1 and then I'm just gonna bring this guy down to the box this is typically going to be the look um, if I'm coming out in something a little bit more run heavy uh, but because you know this play this formation typically the running back flares out and they're like a table route it's gonna be hard for me to come across uh, the way that I want to so in that scenario if I have time I'd much rather this guy be doing that and then this guy be blitzing uh, but it's really you know if you don't have time for that you just kind of have to to cheat over and make sure you're keeping an eye on that although a lot of times this play is also going to be an inside zone so there's a couple different things you can do so if you run this Mike Blitz zero look enough uh, one of the first things your opponent's going to try to do is start trying to beat you with slants because obviously uh, man coverage can struggle with that a little bit i personally don't have an issue with running people running slants against me with this defense because i can be active enough cutting off lanes and um, you know the, pr the pressure typically gets there by the time they make their decision anyway so to me i don't really have a problem with slants with this particular play but the three sam will blitz is probably a better adjustment for slants and not just because of the way it's set up now you pretty much have to set up the same way i'm still going to spread still going to keep it contained but ultimately the keeping contain is going to disappear because i'm going to put zone all as my next option and then you can see it changes the QB contain to the inside uh, defensive ends. They then become the, the QB contain pass rushers. But zone all uh, pretty much is going to make this a much harder play for, for slants. So there are going to be a lot of uh, a lot of zones uh, that you're going to have to throw through now. And you can see there's really nothing there. We get a, we get a coverage sack. So this, to me, is one of the natural uh, evolutions of, uh, of what I'm going to call. I mean, especially if I want good coverage, say it's like a third and 15, I'll call a play like this. You're throwing against, you know, there's really nothing to throw into. But uh, this is, you know, I'll definitely, hard, I'll definitely uh, go do over-the-top coverage. And now if it's like a third and long, you're going to have a hard time trying to get 
uh, the first down. So let's go ahead and let's run this one more time. Like I said, it's just regular slants. I just have to really cut off lanes. You can see the quarterback's taking off. He's not going to get anything. So this is like a pure all-out coverage formation play uh, that you can call at any point in time. Uh, that you really want to kick the coverage up a notch. Now, the best play out of these three would definitely be for run defense, the cover one QB contain. Now, just like in the same, I didn't mention in the three Sam Will Blitz, you could also bring down this cover three safety. That's one of the reasons I like cover three, because you can bring down the extra defender. Just like in the uh, the Mike Blitz zero I showed, I also did the same thing with the safety. Just like the QB, QB contain, I'm going to show in a second, the cover one contain, I'm going to show in a second, you do the exact same adjustment. All these plays, you bring that free safety down, or whoever's you know not covering the middle third, you bring down to the box to give yourself an extra defender, as you can see here. Since I haven't over, you know, this look is definitely, <laughs> I mean, the way this look is coming, I don't really need to worry about this cornerback being back either. So I can bring him down outside just because he's not going to get beat by a tight end anyway. So I can really have a packed, a packed look in the box with every one of these defenses is one of the reasons I like this particular defense. Do the same adjustments that you can see right here. We're going to have pretty much the same look. Now, if I'm expecting a run, I also want a hard flat. That'll help out. Uh, but you can make you can make a good run defense out of the uh, out of the cover three. But I'm more typically going to use the the cover one, which I'll show you here in a minute. So the cover one is going to be definitely the best one. The cover one keep you contained is going to be the best uh, run defense. We're going to pick that one time. Same adjustments. All these plays are the same adjustments. You want to hide your looks. Um, I typically want these guys, to, I wish I could spread them to come out a little bit more. If I have time, I'll, I'll manually put them out. But right here, like if I, like I said, if I want to put my cornerback down outside to help hold those outside lanes, the tight ends aren't going to beat them so badly that they're going to, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? The tight ends aren't going to beat them up the field to the point where they can't recover because they're much slower than the corners. So I can do that and get away with that. And then when it comes to being the user, say those tight ends, I have, I'm giving them huge inside releases. So if those tight ends, you know, do a slant or whatever they do an inside route i just have to cut the angle off until the coverage cuts comes back you know what i mean i just have to to be johnny on the spot when it comes to that so that's pretty much it and then like i said the cover one keep it contained if i want to i can really kick this up a notch and bring the safety down into the box and user that and that's really going to be um you know on me so now i have basically nine in the box ten in the box uh, where one, you know, one cornerback's out there on an island, and I can pretty much deal with that because most people aren't going to throw out of a formation like this. So if I do this, like I said, I got a little bit of user responsibility right there. Didn't cut it off quite properly. That should have been my tackle. But you can see um, how easily uh, the QB contain um, can kick it up a notch. I mean, like I said, the cover three is pretty good, but you can really kick it up a notch with the QB contain. Just make sure you bring all these guys into the box. Uh, and then I'm just gonna like I said, it's up to me if I want to use the safety Sometimes I'll use the guys uh, man to the running back Sometimes I'll use the safety if, if somebody's really pounding the rock, uh, but you can see I mean it's hard He can't get outside especially on the stretch. He's just getting stopped So one more time like I said, I mean it's a lot of user user movement uh, That's about the only thing I could say that might give people trouble is you have to like move these guys around quite a bit um, but like I said, I mean, you could even, like I said, I, if I know he's running a lot of stretches, I can even cheat him outside because I already have, um, you know, pretty much every area locked up. So here we go one more time. Like I said, I mean, it's just, it's just swarming. You know what I mean? I'm just, I just, the stretch plays are the hardest to stop. So that's why I showed that particular play. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video there though. If you guys want to see uh, more plays, uh, more defenses, if, like I said, let me know what defense, what full breakdown book you want to see tomorrow as well. What do you want to see Saturday as well? And that's it. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.